Hi, everyone. Dan Finn here with Finn Financial Group. And today I'd like to talk with you about retirement. Specifically, I'd talk, like to talk with you about retirements if you have a pension or are anticipating a pension. Now, if you know our firm, you probably think of us primarily as a structured settlement, structured uh, attorney fee, structured installment sale firm. But uh, because I am a retirement income certified professional from the American College, I also offer retirement income planning services. And part of that process help, involves helping people evaluate uh, their pension options once it comes time once it comes time for them to retire. Um, and I'm going to share a personal story with you that I think will illustrate the value of this, and and just in, in, and more on that in just about a minute. Uh, first, retirement uh, pensions, defined benefit plans, used to be all the rage in corporate America, uh, have fallen out of favor lately. But once upon a time, if you work for a company that offered a pension, uh, you worked there for a certain number of years, and as your salary went up at the, at, uh, the time came when you were going to retire, you would get a percentage of whatever your final average salary was, and you'd get that for the rest of your life. Very good benefit, encourage employee loyalty, and so on. Well, over the years, because these programs are kind of hard and expensive to maintain, uh, the employers decided that it might be better if they shifted responsibility for retirement from the employer to the employee. So they started offering more defined contribution plans. You know them as 401ks, 403bs, et cetera. So um, that shifts the responsibility of taking care of, of uh, your future to the employee. And both are good. Some companies still offer both. But as defined benefits started to de decline in popularity, um, you've seen the uh, defined contributions increase. Um, so anyways, I have a personal situation here. When I first got out of college, um, I, th I think this will be valuable to you. Um, when I first got out of college, I was a school teacher. When I was an education major at Ohio State, and I thought I wanted to be a basketball coach. I was a, a basketball factored heavily into my life as a, a young youngster, and I thought maybe I'll become a basketball coach. So I went to work at uh, near my hometown at a couple of public schools near my hometown of Canton, Ohio, and uh, started my teaching profession. Well, it wasn't too long before it uh, circumstances and fate sort of took me in a different direction. And after about five years, I went uh, total, I left the teaching profession altogether. But because I had been there five years, the minimum required five years, I did qualify for a pension. I was there 5.1 years to be precise. So I, but I left the company or left the, the, the teaching profession. I knew that this account value was there. I knew at some point in the future, I would get some kind of pension. I knew it wouldn't be much, but I, I kind of put it out of mind, looked at the annual statements when they came in, didn't give it much thought. But now I'm at the age where I've got to start thinking about doing something. So I took a look at my most recent um, statement and I think you'll find this very insightful. I'm going to share a, a copy of my most recent statement from the state teachers retirement system with you. And here you can see I've highlighted this uh, two sections. If we go down to the bottom first, you'll see that if they if I were to retire today because I had 5.1 years of service credit, my final average salary was $11,610 and I for the rest of my life I will receive 11.22% of that final average salary. Now had I stayed in the profession longer, presumably both of those would have gone up. The percentage of FAS would have gone up and my final average salary would have gone up. But as it stands, uh, you put that, uh, plug those data in there and I'm going to receive a whopping $1,303 annually for the rest of my life as long as I live. If I die, my spouse gets nothing. Um, and and thirteen oh three a year. I mean, that's just a hundred dollars a month. That's not a whole lot for anybody to live off of. So I've done other things, of course, since I've moved on with other retirement options. But this little one here is still um, available, and and I still need to make some decisions on it. If I do absolutely nothing except say start my pension, I'm going to get thirteen oh three for as long as I live. But because I do what I do. I'm a retirement income certified professional from the American College. We offer these services to clients. Why not be my own client and take a look and see what this is? So I did an evaluation. I went ahead. We have the, the ability uh, to check um, uh, a search engine, a specially designed search engine called Canex. 
and I'll find it here. And I see what that account value was. You notice that account value was $46,000. Um, one of the options that you have as a, a, a soon to be retiree, I could convert that. I could take that entire 46,000 as a, as a lump sum. I'd have to pay taxes on it, or I can roll it over into something like this. That's going to give me a, a regular annuity, a market value annuity, not fixed and locked into exactly what the state teacher's retirement sy system says they owe me, but take that $46,000, roll it into this, put it through this search engine that goes through all of these different life companies and tries to find a personal income option that's going to be comparable. And I discovered that the highest paying one from Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company, which is an A-plus rated company, will not pay me $13,000 thousand or $1,303 per year, but they'll give me nearly three times as much, $3,434 and 24 cents a year for life. So now the question's pretty simple. Why would I just take what the state teacher's retirement systems offer me? Why would I not roll this over into something like this if I wanted to, to do an apples to apples comparison? Now, as a practical matter, the real step is I would not just probably take a life only. I'd I'm going to look into other options like a 10 year certain in life or a 10 year, 15 year period certain. It'll have to complement with my other retirement planning. But this piece of it, it's it's a it's a no brainer. The decision is simple. I, I just need to take what I've got in the state teacher's retirement system, roll it over into something else, and it's going to be much better. So I encourage all of you, if you have a pension before you retire, take a look at it. It could be a year before, two years before you retire. Just do an analysis, see where it stands. These prices are going up and down all the time. But the worst case scenario is you're going to look at this and you're going to find out that the pension you have is a very good one. But if not, you need to give serious thought about moving it somewhere where you can get more money per month. Everything else will be virtually the same. 2022, by the way, has been a particularly good year for uh, longer term interest rates. The, the interest rate market is better than it's been in more than a decade. So if you haven't looked at this kind of thing for long term uh, income planning lately, might not be a bad time to do so. That's it. Dan Finn, thanks again for stopping by. If we can ever be of service, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks much.